the Naldron, but you'll only see one player. These shock darts should find a lot of value, and they will be able to find first blood as Zombs falls. Also, information onto the other day. Seconds left. Here comes the execute, and Sentinels will not be here immediately. Paint shells to come through in combination with the paranoia. For extra first blood, that's actually over towards the B site. But you gotta get this spike on. There's only 10 seconds, 10 seconds left. left. And as long as Sick can stay alive, maybe a little bit longer, maybe there's an opportunity to delay it, but spike no planted. spider will successfully plan in T1 or in a 4v2. Never change, T1. Never change. As we wait until the 30-second mark and the rest of the T1 say, you know what, let's all go towards A. Ends up being like a, what, a plant with five seconds remaining. The butt that I was going to throw in there, Shift, was to say that, okay, they're about to get on site. Sure, there's only two Sentinel members alive up there, but when are they going to plant here? They're going to run out of time if there's any any sort of pressure that denies the plant. T1 just lose right then and there. They've all enabled the 4v1 now. Spider does remain alive, does get the spike down. Death is going to go down a spider as well, and T1 collected four and zero. Quickly here, knowing they've got a numbers advantage over at B. I think half of that was also Sinatra maybe being called out over towards teleporters, can't quite get away. And this is part of the other issue for Sentinels, but they're about to let another plant come through. Potentially there is finally going to be a trade. Sentinels have been really failing to stop these pushes in, despite how slow they've been. Sentinels just don't get the kills on site when it matters. This time they get the one, the Sentinels will have even numbers for the retake. Shazam with an operator is going to be pretty hard pressed to find a way into this spike site. You also have to keep your eye on Sinatra who's going to try to play through Hookah. Skadoodle needs to stay alive. You cannot fall here if you're Skadoodle. Your whole responsibility is to make sure nobody pushes through these doors. But now as Sinatra finds a kill for the back, Shazam also with an operator. 4v2 situation. Time's going to become a problem here if they can't find a way to clear out Brax early. Blaze wall goes down, spam shots coming through, and Brax he snaps oh. for a third kill! Now it's just down to Shazam! On the spike, the Neurocept's gonna come through, Day's able to find the kill, and T1! They'll hold the post plan and go up 5 nothing. as there's not enough time for Zoms to do anything at all besides back away and save. Yep, another save coming through for Sun Sick of Papu is still not left. committed for the showstopper yet. 30 seconds to play, Spike making its way on for Spider. Showstopper now coming through. But is there an opportunity for Sick to even get here? Actually misses the blast pack where it's destroyed in front of him. One of the two. Oh, and, oh my goodness, Sick. What in the world was that? He throws the showstopper at the wall in front of him. And now all of a sudden, Sentinels in a 3v5. They're a little bit trapped up on top of the site. They have to make a play. And there's no plays available. All of their utility to try to get back on the site were denied because Sick just completely whips up top of heaven. This will be a sixth round for T1. Oh. The Sentinels know it's a Duka trail will come through behind this. So 2v2 we go. Sentinels in a little bit of a more advantageous spot health-wise as Spider's down to a single bullet. And this is going to be a double hit pretty well telegraphed from Hookah. The Blaze Wall's in a great spot to split things up, but Brax still finds a kill on the Sinatra. So now it's just down to Sick, and Brax will oh, be... Oh, about T1 at this stage of the game, but it does come down to Sentinels. Comes down to Shazam as well. Sees the shoulder, sees the body, sees Spider dead on the ground there. As the opening kill does come through, two ultimates available for Sentinels as well. And now T1, the long game comes through. Notice, by the way, that Sick has scouted all the way through showers, going towards market. Now, has a great timing, potentially on to T1 as they wrap back over towards short. Sick might be up for a multi frag There's number one, there's number two. Spikes on the floor, it's a 5v2 as well. And he knows he's isolated two players this direction. As Zoms takes down Daze, it'll just be up to Skadoodle and... I don't really know if there's a play available for him here, considering the spike is out and a little bit too much of a vulnerable position for his liking. Seconds left. He'll give a go at it, and if he can find the kill into Sinatra, maybe there's a chance, but not going to happen. Only the showstopper available for Sentinels this time defensively, and as Daze just spams through the dark cover, he essentially runs and guns down Zoms, and with that, now he's got the opportunity to pick up an exactly ult orb, and the neural death will be committed very early. T1, are you looking to maybe execute a bit sooner than you would think normally? Now it's going to be a Hunter's Fury with Skadoodle also moving on forward with the Showstopper. Can't quite get on top of the truck by the A site, but it's still trying to push to find an elimination, but no, oh, it's down to find a kill, and as Sick is able to get better use of time out of the Showstopper, the Boom Bot will also get into the mix. Sick for a third, give him the fourth. Sentinels, they take the round. Then play against Luminosity, that was the case, and that was one of the downfalls to what they were able to put together defensively. Now, Brax, you'll see a player coming out of Hookah. Wants to try to find the fight over towards this player, B-Long, but Dapper gets the kill. Fault line coming through. We'll be able to find one more elimination in trade, so 4v4 we go. But the execute's still on the way, and keep your eye. You've actually got Spider, who's on the flank, but he gets dealt with. Beautiful pickup for Sentinels, and this will be a spike play and likely a seventh round. I think you called it right there as well. You mentioned, okay, is this going to be T1 slow in the retake? And consideration over towards the B sites by playing a solo showstopper over. While that starts to fade away, you're going to be getting oh Sentinels warming up the mid, but Spider throws a shoulder and comes away with two headshots. Brax as well dealing with sick means that this play for Sentinels has seen its last light. 
And Sinatra in a 1v5 might try to play for a spike plan as he's got plenty of cash to play with. And any kills are good kills here as T1 is still struggling for a bit of their economy. He does get those kills and that will shut Sentinels down. Sinatra early to run it back, wants to play through Hookah, actually goes right by the boom bot. And as he tries to work his way out of sight, can't find any damage actually to the Skadoodle who takes care of the initial portion of the Phoenix and then also finds Dapper, but still Sentinels pushing aggressively over towards B. Now it's going to be the defensive hunters here coming through for days, just hunting for any kind of information possible. But the good news is AZK and Spider behind him are cleaning up the kills as all these Sentinels members continue to try to dodge away from the Hunter's Fury. And T1 again defensively will hold them. And now the alt right will see if he can get anything done. Hunter Fury is going to come through early for the offense this time, and as Sinatra actually works his way through Hookah, they will isolate these kills over towards B Long. Now Dapper will hit the Neural Theft, and T1 will have to consider what exactly do you want to do, because this is a familiar rotation, but not one they want to feel as familiar, but, okay, random shots through the smoke, going to be able to take down one, so this turns to a 3v3, and if Brax can find a way to find a body, he might be able to throw this Neural Theft out to determine whether or not T1 realistically have a chance to get their way back into sight. Cage triggered. Very different round to the last one we that we just saw, but also very similar one to past B takes that we've seen as well, where T1 just kind of failed to hold on again, don't really get enough trades. They will have the two kills to work with so far, but ACK Spider on site now. Spider nearly gets another kill to Dapper on 9 HP. Exactly Time is slowly starts to run up. They need to start getting the spike defuse. It's a 2v1. Where is Shazam? They gotta cover him. They must oh. take the defuse. Shazam wins it. He's gonna get both kills. The clutch comes in. Spike detonates. Shazam here, but it'll be tight as he's on the way over through the back side and Sentinels are not exiting. They're going to play through lamps. This is all a post plant setup in the face of T1. So it's going to be down to can you find the kills on the re-entry? So far so good as Skadoodle and Brax will combine for three. Sit down to one HP and Zom's also not all that healthy will mean that T1 will get a clean retake and a bold call though for Sentinels to not even bother exiting. They just stick themselves in lamps. They stick themselves Love around it. a mid. And, and Spider here to respond as well. That is a bad, bad, bad start for Sentinels. And by the way, that was one of their three rifles. They're only walking with three guns and one is down. And I love the call for Brax just to push through the hot hands to confirm the kill. Although, Sick has actually made his way onto site. Finds the trade back pit. Spider can actually confirm the trade. So 4v4 we go. Rolling Thunder still available. You got to keep your eye on AZK who's sitting backside sight. The Molotov will clean up Spider. So now a 4v2. Skadoodle's down. AZK is going to have to find more to clutch this up with exactly date. Right. Rolling Thunder going to come through, but the Neural Fest in response will mean that really not a lot of ground was taken away. This is looking great for Sentinels all of a sudden. It's a spike be planted. And Shazam will dodge all the utils as well. Doesn't get hit by a shock ball. Doesn't get hit by the aftershock. Rolling Thunder, it's very little in that situation as well as Days will swing by for one kill. AZT on his lonesome for another. It's a 1v2. Half HP over for Sick as well. Possibility of a kill. The fault line will hit, but that's all. One flash available. The cam is going to be good. Tagged as well. The swing could come through at any moment. And this could be it. I think Sentinels will take this one to OT and towards B. Don't know if they got information that Sinatra's also over there. There's the fault line. Recon bolt behind it. And with a flash also coming through. No, it's oh, sick. Wow. He gets a collateral lineup. Still alive with 54 oh, HP. The soft wall up over the top. Dom's able to find the fuck. Looking for info. They are at least going to have days hopping over towards the A side of things. We'll have three available here to come down to Brax. Brax is a nice opening kill. Spike on the floor there. Good assist by Spider on the Paranoia as well. That's player advantage. Two kills now for T1 and Sentinels down to three. And Dazed on top of the site is going to have a lot of contestants nearby, but Brax here for the help as he finds a second and third kill, but Zom's for the immediate trade. The Sky Smoke will allow him to push through to clear out some space, but in a 1v technical four situation, he's got Skadoodle on his flank. He's got Spider inside. There's the first kill. If he can find this isolated 1v1 versus Skadoodle, it'd be great. He knows that this player is here, and he's going to commit to just going straight on through the teleporter to Hookah. There is time okay. for this play. Sky Smoke will be placed to block off the defensive he's side at spawn, and he's going to have the ultimate Ten after this plant left. comes through, but the Aftershock's going to deny it for a moment. Down to six seconds. Flashpoint also coming through. You have to stick for this. There's page shells behind him, though. He's going to get tagged up pretty heavily. Down to 35 HP, and AZK will clean things up. Double OT we go. AZK saves the day for T1 there. If it wasn't for the 5v1. <laughs> yeah, this is a 5v1 situation. And left. I think a lot of this calls on the fact that Raze had used all of their ultimates or pretty much all their utility coming through. And it's days and AZK find two kills. That'll be a free spike plant. Defensively, Sentinels will have an ability to get here pretty quickly. Spike planted. But the problem is in a 3v5 and now with the Hunter's Fury being earned, 
How do you possibly retake this? Baze has already moved his way all the way back over towards spawn to stay safe for a clutch. It's gonna have to be very clean here for Sentinels and as AZK finds some elimination, I don't think clean is on the cards here. Curveball will come through. Sinatra will at least find that trade, but it's gonna take a lot more than this. These kills are fine, sure, but it's gonna be a 1v3 and there's gonna be no opportunity to find a kill on the days. And here will be the play coming through. Spider cleaning things up. T1 take the edge of the second OT. Just too many players alive there over towards B. And there are a couple of members here. AZK is very far forward. He's by himself. Skadoodle also playing aggressively to Hookah, but he's going to find one kill. It'll be a one for one trade. Blast packs going back and forth. Curveball now coming through, but Spider's here for a little bit of help. And the Hookah teleporter play will come out. T1 with a big advantage. 4v2. Dapper's on site. He has to commit. Now moving his way through. He'll see information on the days, but he can't confirm the kill as of yet. The spam shots will eventually be there. And as Shazam nearly lines up a double, it's all down to Dapper. 1v1. Neural Theft will come through, but he knows the spike is down, and beyond that, Skadoodle also aware that information takes the chill! Individually responsible for anything to come through short, while the rest of the defensive members for Team 1 will have to try to respond to the players coming through main. Braxton with the find one. Now it's down to Skadoodle. He finds one kill, able to tailwind away, but not going to get the kills. Dapper will find another double, and that's going to lead to a spike plant here as the entirety of the A spike site will be left. cleared off. And now Sentinels, they'll have a 3v2 with a couple of weapon upgrades in front of them as well. Ooh. Neural Theft in play, confirms no one on the big flank there, and this is all Dapper gets the opening frag, goes deep on site, Skadoodle dashes straight into the waiting arms of Dapper's off for a double. He will be able to get an ultimate, will be able to play the ultimate, gets the Phantom upgrade, and Sentinels are on their way now, AZK and Spider with a potential retake. And there's the first kill on the subs, now a 2v2 situation, Spider goes down, 1 versus 2, ACK can't land any shots. They have to try to back away, Skadoodle's gonna go into the blade storm. Sick getting a lot of damage dealt, but here comes the challenge and Skadoodle will free up the opportunity for a weapon and he will just pick it up. Does he keep it for himself or does he drop it for a teammate while he's got the blade storm in play? While all that is being considered, Sentinels will try to make a play over towards A and as you just mentioned, the weapon did get dropped over to a squad mate, so T1 are definitely in fighting condition to at least some extent here in the 4v4. So they technically have two guns now. That's a refresh on the knives with Skadoodle as well. Days with the rifle. 38 HP is not great. Maybe give that one over to AZK or Spider. Spider's a bit too far away. And, I mean, the other consideration would just be to save the one rifle. Everyone that doesn't have a gun will go for the retake. Skadoodle's already thinking about it. He's already feeling deep. Spider now. Paranoia and Skadoodle. Jump oh. and misses the right click. And you can't have that. As T1 down to two members, Days will get this gun out of dodge. As AZK makes a last ditch attempt, then that's all it will end up being. No kills and nothing left for this round. Days still has to make it out alive, by the way, as he's being chased down. And there could be a chance now to get two more on the board before we go to the second half. Early Hunter Fury coming through. Shazam actually is trying to updraft away from it, but Days locks him down. Deploying drone. And the ambitious call pans out in a major way for T1, trying to get the five rounds defensively before the half swap would be great for them. Brax trying to spam. Not going to find any connections initially through the dark cover, and Spider will soak up the better part of her shock dart. Good value coming through for both of our Sova players early. And Sentinels, who are still stacked towards C long, have a lot of time to consider if they actually want to hit this. Spider might actually force them away as he gets the operator to sing a tune here. And with that, he will be revealed by the recon bolt, holding the paranoia, now reconsidering. And him and Brax are not out of the woods yet. There are still a hit coming through. Dapper has literally wiggled his way forward. He's going to catch one for free. Knows that Dapper's nearby. Oh. Maybe that ba Brax is nearby. He'll find the second kill. And Sentinels... With their gut check call to hold towards C Long, will pan out as they get the spike planted. T1 gets spooked out by the recon bolt there. I mean, you see what happens is Brax puts up a cage to try and save Spider because they feel like Spider's gonna get rushed. He has a paranoia out as well, still has a paranoia out, and Dapper slowly crawls his way in, gets the kill, Zoms TPs into the oh. aftershock there, so AZK is awarded a freebie. The Rolling Thunder is still available if they want to go for it, but they're just oh, going to go in dry right now. Skadoodle down early, ACK as well, and now just down to one. Now they wish they actually put in the Hunter's Fury, or rather, the Rolling Thunder, as Days did put in the Hunter's Fury early on to get the one kill. Established themselves on the site. So now Don't Sentinels looking for more favor over towards C. Recon Bolt again, finding a lot of information and a lot of value. Sick with the runner back, able to find one kill. He'll eventually be dealt with, but again, the opening pick is great for Sentinels as they're exactly once again really onto the C site. It's another unresponded site take as well. I mean, we've seen some 
response from T1 where there have been good defenses, where they get some trades, but this is not one of them. This is one of those early rounds within the first six that we see, which is why there was a 6-0 where T1 kind of just fall over on site. The Rolling Thunder now is going to get played, but look how far away T1 are. They can barely even take advantage of this. In fact, they're not going to get a single kill off the Rolling Thunder itself. The spike is planted pretty deep, though. You'll be hard-pressed to get a hot hands this direction. As Skadoodle finds one kill, the Cloudburst will come through. Just a bit errant on a second shot, but AZK will punish for a kill. Flashpoint coming out. AZK will find another. No problem there. And yeah, this is a little bit too hard, I would say, for Sentinels overall. Although, uh, hang on, hang on. The line down. Not one, not two, but three. Long range shots, but Skadoodle turns just in time. Halfway diffused, now fully diffused. But goodness, Zom's Nation almost woke. It would have chunked him pretty heavily, but he's still going to peak this, I believe. You hear the shots coming out, and there is the peak, and Sick will walk away with the kill. A bold engagement, but one that pans out massively for Sentinels, but Spider coming over towards the site, has to respond to two different players, and he gets a little bit nervous about the gunfight coming through. Curveball will come out, and the trade will eventually be there, but it doesn't come at too much of a cost. We're in a 3v3. Dapper over towards A defensively has one in front, but the Bulldog of AZK is just a touch better, and with that, T1 will get a spike point here at A. Sentinels will get a couple of gun upgrades here, just minor ones in terms of the SMGs. We'll see if that's going to give them enough legs to really go for this retake. Here comes potential for a very early 1v1. Sinatra hasn't been spotted yet, but you can see that Skadoodle is thinking that somebody's here. Dashes away. Ah, burst into effect as well. And now let's see if Sinatra can make his way in. You've got to go aggressive here if you're Sinatra. Everything hinges on him finding success in the back to allow Zombs to move forward and with him being shut down. Zombs, you're going to play for a couple of exits. He's going to try to, but Skadoodle will awaken, but use it. Might be a consideration, considering that it's only a Spectre here for Skadoodle, and there it is. Cyber Cage will also be spent. Skadoodle's going to work his way over. Going to read that there is a player up top. But as he works his way on, it's actually Brax just spamming through the dark cover, actually cleans up Dapper from heaven. So, huge opportunity. The spike goes down safely. Sentinels are nearby for a retake. The Aldrum's going to be saved and now spent to try to read some information, and that's going to be very valuable, as you know now that there is a player below. Sinatra hoping for a pick. Not going to fully clean things up, but Spider will eventually fall to sick. Now up top, Sinatra going to help out as him and sick again combined for another elimination. And now it's dazed by himself, and inside this dark cover, he will reveal his position, has a recon bolt to play with. Gonna find some intel off of it. Has a read on the one, but can't get the kill. So now it's just down to Brax for a 1v3. Time is a problem. Can he find the angle? He does find the elimination, but it's the halfway. It's gonna be really close, and the defuse will be. An all drone, and it will at least catch information on one player over towards the middle of the map. Sinatra's gonna try to take value off of this, and he does confirm a lot of damage, but the action's actually going over towards Zom's directions at sea. He won't be able to find a kill, and with that, the spike will be planted. Still plenty of time for Sentinels to get here for a retake, but they're in a 4v5 situation. You don't have to run it back to get through. You do pick up Dazed, who's lurking mid-map, so now a 4v4 on the retake. Spider, without a paranoia or a dark cover, is trying to hold over towards the double box. Skadoodle going to be hard-pressed just to hold this scope as he's watching over towards C Garage. Misses the first shot. Now here comes the rest of the hit. Spider will find a couple. He's on three this round. Sick will be hit by the spam of the spy dart. But he's now in a 1v2. Double curveballs come through. He's going to get information right onto one player over towards C Long. But he's going to have to find a third kill. Blaze wall about to come through, but Brax will take him down from the garage alley, and that will be T1. And eventually, as he starts thinking about making his way over, they'll be able to get the spike there too. They're defaulting a little bit harder on the other pl on the other sites now. You see both Spider and Skadoodle working their way into C. And Spider's even going to tuck in for the potential aggression from sick and sick does like to walk down here he goes he will be punished does that call for t1 to move over though they are still just working time working numbers our drone scouts out over towards mid as well spike is still uncommitted azk also has not walked up further he is respecting the fact that shazam is also sniping and he doesn't know where shazam is yet both teams will essentially be able to read that sentinels are going to go to a 2-2 stack two at c two at a 
And actually, Sinatra is starting to play over the middle of the map. He could be here quickly on the defense. 20 seconds left to play. Rolling Thunder is going to come out. That's actually through short. It's not going to hit really anybody on site. Actually, pardon me, it does hit Zom's up top at heaven, but he's going to stay safe through this. And as he gets a lot of information, he's not just going to find one. He'll find a second. Shazam was stuck with an operator, but now he's got the blade storm. And as Sinatra rotates in, he'll find a kill, but Spider for two. Time is the problem. Two seconds, and Dapper's just going to walk away and see the 12th round. But the Aldrone. And he will see only the opposite Aldron for now, but there are three members. Okay, now he's going to see information. Hunter Sturry is going to come through. They're trying to confirm a kill on the Dapper. He's going to back away, but while they do, T1 Skadoodle able to get their way onto the site and find a pick. Skadoodle's going to try to lock things down with the spike coming down early. Sentinel's on the potential retake. They're only able to find one. AZK holds strong. And now a 4v2. Sentinels, do you go for this? The money was not in a great position, right and you really don't want to give away an operator, so it just comes down to if Zoms finds a pick or two, maybe there's an opportunity. But it looks like he's going to just try to bail away, steal some of these weapons to make sure they stay safe as he juggles them back over towards the defensive spawn. T1 will be able to find their ninth round. And T1 speed up successfully here as well. After failing to get the plan of the previous round, running out of time, they say no more of that instantly on to see instantly get the plant down they lose one player in spider but the job's been done there sentinels lose three can't even get on site look at all the blue x's and the last two players will try and get themselves out alive keep that odin alive as well as i think the main goal was on the imagery there it's been either piping hot or slightly cold what is that peak from shazam jumps over the cyber cage and then snaps on the azk for first blood Unbelievable. Zom's now in a position to try to isolate the kill as well onto Brax. He's not going to expect this. Thank you very much. Sentinel's looking primed to take the map as they're in a 5v3. Days will have to find a big kill over here towards B. Skadoodle's going to also jump on in. Curveball will stall any hit from coming through. Days now with a shock dart coming out. Not going to find much value there. A nice spy cam place to try to scout things out to see where exactly this hit on the retake could come from. And as Sinatra finds first blood on the Days' backside screens, Sentinels will be in a 5v4, and T1's quasi four spy with two members, they might have to consider just saving these stingers. It's not really worth saving, though. I mean, yeah. I guess you do in the case where you probably have to eco in the next round, but at the same time, if you're buying into this round, you're really trying to win it, you are going to go for the retake here. Four players are alive. You have full ramp control for the most part, as the smoke is going to lock out two members, but you have to get moving now. You have to get these kills now. Spiders in, gets traded. 3v4, we go. ACK still in the mix, but as the spike is about to detonate, ACK is probably going to go down to this. Uh, he's able to just barely sidestep it enough. The same wall execute for Sentinels. It is going to be challenged. Operator in plate. Coming through from Skadoodle. Is he going to get a customer early? He will, but look at that. Shazam with a flick onto the head will clean up the kill. Customer is always right, apparently, here, Avril. Sentinels now 5v3 situation. Operator off the table. And with the neural theft coming through, Sentinels will realize that there's only one member on the A. Well, they certainly have to put everything into the bank now. Spider up and early. We talked about Spider previously. Gets a couple of shots connected, but it's AC Care that will be able to get the kill. Spider's still on the back, by the way. We'll be calling for some reinforcements. The Sentinels have the sight. Sinatra has the showstopper. Can't quite find any value early. Might still be able to get one over towards spawn. Might just do a bit of damage and walk away. Yeah, he reads the information that there are a couple members that are here. Sinatra will double peek, and with that, Brax will find the elimination. T1 do have the ability to potentially try to scout things out with this from the shadows from Spider, who is playing through a ramp. He's cleared out at least that exit. So for Sentinels, there's only really one spot you could be, and that's on the site itself. Maybe consideration towards this backside screens play, as there is obviously the fortified wall here from Sick. But once again, T1, you've got to make a commitment. It looks like it's mostly going to be from the top ropes. Shazam looking to flank behind this. Here's the play forward. You're going to get Skadoodle on site first. Cloudburst coming through. Shazam able to find two. Zom's another. And Brax, no chance to challenge. He'll back away. And Sentinels, they'll be up 5-1. All attacking sighted. Whether it's T1 on attack or Sentinels on attack, it's all them. And finally, Skadoodle coming online with the operator. Shazam not going to get the better of him this time around. That's the 5v4 T1 definitely need, but they get oh. traded. But still, Sick able to bounce back, find the elimination. 
and with the wall being fortified, Sentinels are already on the site. Brax is in a 1v3 situation, trying to stay alive, but gets hit by the Paranoia. The defensive reinforcements for Team 1 are coming. It's going to be a very early commitment for the Rolling Thunder, which will push a couple members into the corner, but Brax can't confirm any kills. So now as the status effects will be shrugged off, it's going to have to be on the Spider to open up with any kills. Nothing going to come through. Sentinels looking near flawless since the opening pickoff from Skadoodle. They walked up in the round summary, but... It's all going their way. If a T1 running out of options here, not that many rounds left to go. Spider has to get a kill, does. Gonna get a second, that's nice. And finally, that's the Spider play we wanted to see. Something that we, I mean, anything, just sign of life there for T1. I mean, again, their initial holds on their defense have been not great, to put it plainly. And finally, a couple of opening trades, and not even trades, just opening kills that T1 can take advantage of. Sentinels will be allowed a position to contest towards B tower, but there's a spy cam watching this and Dazed is also here. Dark cover comes through. Sick is gonna be able to find one kill. No, no way. They've got an opportunity here. Skadoodle is able to find one kill down low, but he's traded. We're down to a 2v2. This was a 3v5 situation. AZK and Spider aren't here. And again, Sentinels will be in a position to where they can get this fight planted. And there's a resurrection now on the table because of it. And he's gonna go for it straight away. It will be 3v2 in just a second. Hang on a minute. Sick is being very patient. I suppose Sick doesn't quite know exactly where the two last T1 members are. Zom's also wrapping very far around. There's only one player nearby for the Resurrection to come through on. And Sick has to win this 1v1 coming up now. Here we go. This is Spider walking on in, taking a bit of damage. And Sick is still on site. They're giving it away as Zom's come through on heaven. It'll be a heaven post play. Sick is down. Zom's in a 1v2. No resurrection in play. No extra member to work with. Zom's has to get a kill. The defuse is coming in. There has to be a stick as well. That's going to be the kill right now. And Unreal. it is planted for him in the open. Zom's for three. And set that they lose this during the open qualifiers. Say oh, about it what you will against the Gen G squad. Spam shots in the days will find a kill. And this Sentinels team is definitely throwing the consideration that they very well will not be counted out not not today at least not in this matchup opportunity for skadoodle i say opportunity but he will actually back away from this frack still up top gonna read some information but the weapon's just too strong for sentinels as they roll on in and that will be another spike plant successful at the b site and azk had the hero rifle by the way he was on the other side of the map and while well, sentinels make the call for b once again, it's AZK and Spider that are just sad about the situation. I think Synthrolls have made some really good calls here where it is much harder to push into Breach Omen than it is the other way around. You would much prefer to push onto a site that has, has Cypher raised and a, what, Jet? As AZK tries to stay alive here, goes down as well. Spider with a nice couple of shots. And it's just going to be a consolation prize, and I think the defaults for T1 might say that it's been B, 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 B. It actually will oh, eventually be a, from the Shadows play over to A, and as Dapper finds AZK, that's a big resource down as far as being able to flash in for a retake. I mean, you're going to have to commit for a showstopper kill. Shazam is not going to find any value with the Bladestorm, but that's fine because he's already pushed over towards this defensive screens area. And T1 are going to have to flood. There's really no other choice. They have to flood through. There's too many members for Sentinels that are over towards A ramps. you got to get these kills up front quickly. Depending on where people die, the res is still in place. So Sam probably a little bit too far to get res now. And that's where the flood could be effective. Showstopper is still available there. Spider on two kills. Nicely landed. And now it's just up to Sick. Are you got to go for the res here. You kind of have to. The defuse is already coming <laughs> in. You have to stop the defuse. Sick doesn't really know what to do here. A little bit of confusion. And T1 will be able to rescue one stakes. That's when Sentinels can strike and well, for T1, maybe it would pay to play this one a little bit slower. Zom's getting aggressive now, pairing away through an early trade. Yeah, the trade's just not good enough though, unfortunately. Sinatra's gonna give it another go. He'll get a couple of shots to connect, but no kills. Also a 1v1 potentially between Shazam and Brax over towards a main, but that'll actually be forfeiting it, Shazam. And again, the trades will come through over the middle of the map, but still it's not favorable enough. T1. Looking at a 3v1 situation, Dapper's going to try to find a kill mid-map, maybe steal away a weapon, but he will not be decently slow. They don't have Rolling Thunder yet. They might not need it now with the player advantage. Shazam could have a timing if he exits Has the smoke to. appropriately. Has to. Has to have a timing here. 
and Brax very aware of the play. So now it's down to Sinatra. Paint shells will slow things down. He'll exit towards the spike site, but it's an exit that actually puts him closer to danger as there's no chance Sinatra wins here. Fortune still to find one more kill. There's an opportunity still brewing here. Sentinels in a 2v2 as Dapper finds the trade. The spike is also on the ground. Oh my wild. And as you start to see Zombs rotating over, as long as Dapper can stay alive, left. there's a chance. But with this, the spike will be picked up. It'll be planted, and Zombs will have to try to work into 1v2. And that was a really tricky 1v1 found as well, by the way, or a 2v1 situation, considering T1 had both players alive on site. But eight seconds to go. If Brax dives to Dapper there, Sentinels probably win that round. So again, a late plant, but this time it works out. Two players, not quite a crossfire, but they are far apart. That will give the opportunity to play for time. And Zombs has to isolate both kills. We'll tap the spike early, draw out attention. No shots being fired yet. Spider comes around the back. Headshots landed, and Zombs cannot make a 2v1. Dark cover will make life a little bit more difficult. Sinatra holding on to the Boombot and the Pain Shells. Zombs as well. There goes the Paranoia coming through. Zombs able to find the first kill. The Cloudburst trying to keep everybody safe, but the trades will favor that of the Sentinels. Now isolated opportunities coming through these Cloudbursts, pushing right on in. No one saw Sick coming, but Brax over towards A. Will open up a little bit of space, but Skadoodle needs to get out of here. He's got the spike. He will drop, and now Sentinels, a 4v2, could be made a 5v2 if they wanted to just go over to A and get the resurrection, but that's a risky play, and it might not even be necessary. As Dapper cleans up Spider, it's all down to Brax for a 1v4. And it doesn't seem possible, and you even made... Sentinels that have a 70% win rate on defense. They will take the middle of the map, and Sentinels have allowed this, though. They set up the wall to stop any play going to A tower, and... Then they'll just bring over Sick to try to help out towards the B tower, slower being held. Here comes the commitment. Shoulders are being thrown. And the potential combination of either a boom bot or maybe even paint shells with this slow orb is going to come through. Flushing out the position, though, is T1, and they're able to back away and confirm a lot of damage. Very valuable opening hit here for T1 so far. And this is where the Sage is actually valuable. Sick will get the heal up now. Here come the paint shells. Showstopper into play. Where do the kills come on? And Jason ACK down. Sinatra's got two. He goes down as well. But Sentinels still have a res in play. He gets back in now. 5v2 shift. And this looks like Sentinels. Uh, but Brax is still in a position to find one more kill. Maybe there's an opportunity. Now it's just down to Spider. But he does 